We're here with head coach uh, Michael Holder after the Patriots' 8-2 win over Carson Newman. Coach, some opening comments and we'll head to questions. Uh, it was a very well-pitched ball game from both starting pitchers. Um, you know, they scored a couple of runs and, and got ahead, and, and uh, Evan Condon did a great job in relief of Joel Haney tonight and kind of keeping them where they were at. Had a big pickoff tonight and, and really controlled the game from the mound to keep us in it. And then Luke Parker gets a big hit in the seventh, and, and things change quickly. Uh, but great job, too. A couple freshmen, uh, Bryce Tosu comes in late and gets a pinch hit performance and hits a double. And then uh, Derek Espinosa there at the end with two great innings. Kid's got an outstanding arm, and he's, he's been great for us. And he's going to be a big part of our staff as well. Uh, Parker had that first big hit there to start the seven run seven. You put uh, Ty Gilbert in as a pinch runner there. How much do you feel like he kind of broke up the uh, the, the pitcher's uh, rhythm there? Uh, maybe, I don't know. A little, little uh, got a little hesitant there when he took off on the wild pitch, uh, but he made it. And uh, runners got to first and third, and maybe that kind of helped, you know. Uh, Kind of, kind of shake things up a little bit, but in that situation, uh, we tell our base runners they better make it if they're going to go. They don't want to make the last out there at third. But uh, Ty's a great athlete, and uh, he's a still. I think he would develop physically until he's 30 or 35 years old if he could play that long. And uh, he's come a long way since he's been here, and uh, he can run, he can throw, he can hit. But you know, uh, glad that he got in there and contributed tonight. Uh, See, like for the you know, first five, six innings there, you guys had some hard hits that were just finding gloves. Did it yeah, turn into just to some extent? Um, you know, and that's one thing that I'm going to talk to the guys tonight about is, is our uh, anxiousness a little bit. You know, and, and I felt a little bit at times last year as well, but we really, really struggle with kind of breaking the seal and offensively. I think our pitchers have, have done an outstanding job of setting the, the pace and the tempo of the game and giving us a chance to break it open or, or kind of get that anxiousness out of our system, but our hitters have got to do that early in the game. I think Eckert's a guy that can do that in the leadoff spot, and then uh, you know, we got some other guys very capable. We're trying to do too much, probably. Oh, you know, we mentioned the, the, the pitchers at the back half of the game. Uh, Haney just gave up the two hits there through five innings. How do you feel about the way he threw it you know, yeah, to be uh, the season opener? Joel's, Joel's got great stuff, outstanding stuff, and he proved that last year throughout the course of the season. And he hasn't shown his best stuff this fall or this spring so far, January and into February, but he still gets out. So the guy can throw a ball and a thimble. He can command and locate the fastball as well as anybody, anybody I've ever coached. And sometimes that gets him in trouble. But he's, uh, I think as the weather warms up, he's going to warm up. Good. I mean, always good to start the season with a win. Um, you know, what are you looking, or what are you hoping to see maybe a little different from your guys tomorrow? Um, you know, the anxiousness at the plate early. We, we've got to calm down and have better, uh, uh, just, just be a little bit more calm-minded in the box and not trying to do too much. Um, and then, obviously, we're going to win with pitching and defense and, and timely hitting. And, uh, but tomorrow's the swing game of the series, and whoever, whoever finds a way to win tomorrow's game gives you momentum going into Sunday. So we'll worry about Sunday when we get here, but we got to win tomorrow. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Good luck tomorrow against the St. Carson Newman squad. Right, thank you, guys. Appreciate it.